Hey guys, it's Derek. So, um, on this channel, I really want to do something different, but I'm not going to do it weekly. I'm just probably going to post it, like, who knows when. So, I like to call this, like, Trendy Tuesday. So, I'm just been taught, I'm going to be talking about, like, what's trending right now. And, yeah, so, the, so, right now, what's in trend, in trading is... Taylor Swift's new album, 1989, which y'all need to buy because so good, like, it's been slaying me for, like, you know, a week and what, sold, like, three, no, 1.3 million copies now in the first week. That's impressive, like, damn, girl. Like, every single song, it's so good, and I'm, I'm gonna go over it, alright? So, the first song is Welcome to New York. Okay. So when I pre-ordered this album, oh my fucking god, I got so mad because the song came out before I pre-ordered it, no, after I pre-ordered it. So pretty much I pre-ordered it and then like a couple days later the song came out and, you know, it said it purchased but it didn't, it was in download so I cancelled because somebody told me on Twitter that um, you have to cancel your uh, pre-order to get this and then pre-order it again, but you know what? I, I had no money left, so I cancelled my pre-order and I tried to pre-order again. Nothing happened. I had to buy like more iTunes card to get the song and I pre-ordered again and then when the album like was dropped, I mean, was, was released, you know, same problem. Now, Welcome to New York is such a good, cute, fun vibe, like I really like it and you know, it's just, I think it is a good um, go to the whole album because she did say dancing to like the new soundtracks or whatever so that's pretty good. The second um, track is Blank Space. I personally, I mean the song is good but it doesn't slay me, you know? It's just, I find it kind of boring. No offense if those people who like it. I just, I don't know. Third track is Style. Yes! Oh my god, I love this song so much. It makes me feel fabulous. I don't know why. And the chorus, damn that slay the shit out of me. For Out of the Woods, of I love this song. I kind of stopped listening to it because, you know, the whole the other songs were out, so I've been obsessing with the other songs in that song, but I really like this song. When I first heard it, I was like, you know, was about to cry, and just, you know, I'm sorry, this lighting though, gosh. Um, yeah, it's just like the whole vibe, and then every time I listen to it, I just like, see myself just like walking down the street just thinking about life so I don't know. The fifth soundtrack is All You Wait, All You Had to Do Was Stay. I love this album. I'm just, I love this song. It's so like catchy and fun. But the only thing I do not like about the song is just like that little high pitched voice or whatever, like stay or whatever. I just don't like it. I just find that really annoying, kind of boring, but either way, the soundtrack is her first single, Shake It Off. Okay, I heard, when I first heard this, I was like, Taylor, you need to do better. But the second time I heard it, I was like, okay, that's good. But a couple months later, I was like, this is good, 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 slay. But now, every time I listen to it, I'm just like, stop. Like, the message is good, but the vibe is just... I don't know, it doesn't hit me anymore. My like, fun track is I Wish You Would. Oh God, I love this song. This song so good. It's like a really good dance pop song. And you know, she's been really doing really good. Um, the next one is Bad Blood, which is track eight, number eight. I personally don't like this song. I was so excited to hear this song because it's all about, I don't know, it's like about her relationship, apparently it's a relationship with Katy Perry, I don't know. But like, a lot of people are like talking about it, you know, and I thought, oh, this song will be a huge hit, and it's gonna slay me. But when I listened to it, I was just like, no. Act 9, um, Wildest Dreams, it's like another, um, Lana Del Rey song. Like, not, not like that, I mean like the vibe, I really like it, it's just, really, you know, calms me down, it helps me think about life, so. Yeah. Act 10 is How You Get The Girl. Yes! This song slays me so hard! First it's like a little country, but then when it comes to like the chorus, like BANG! 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 Like dance, pop, like, yes. Like, Act 11, This Love, 
I personally don't like this song. I find it really boring. 12, I know places. This song sways me so much. The chorus is just like... Clean. I personally don't like this song. I'm sorry. I just find it really boring, but she can do. I don't know. Um, track 14. This is the bonus tracks now. Um, Wonderland. This song slays me so hard. It's so different, so poppy, so catchy. You know, this needs to be a single. I mean, it should be like on like the like it should be track number one or something. I don't know. But this song's so good. I mean. Uh, so, Ryan uh, is You Are In Love. This song is actually not on iTunes. This song is actually from, what do you call it? Uh, the Target Edition Deluxe version or whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I got it and this song really hits me so hardcore. It's so like, really sad, but it's telling you that you're in love and it's so kind of like another Lana Del Rey um, vibe. I listen to this like every morning to calm me down and it helps me think about life, which is kind of weird, and at night time. So. And then the last track is New Romance. I find this song good, but it doesn't slay me, you know? You know that kind of vibe? I don't know. It just didn't really hit me. That was my um, review of 1989. If you guys like this album, let me know. I really like this album. I really wish she could do more pop albums and she did a really good job on this and it's worth buying it. So buy that, buy that album on iTunes. So I hope you guys like this review. If you guys want more of these episodes or whatever, just let me know. And make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And um, make sure to stay happy, stay positive, and you guys were born this way, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!